This video tip brought to you by WindowsRestartTile.com. Restart your PC with a single mouse click. Hey, what's going on everyone? So in this video, I wanted to just show you all a really convenient app that I've been using for over eight years now. It's called LastPass. It's a powerful password manager, and in my opinion, the best one out there. Uh, if you don't already use a password manager, I highly recommend you do. It just saves you a lot of time and effort having to remember a million different passwords and all your login information across a bunch of different websites. Uh, the great thing is it's a free program and it works with just about every possible system and it works on all your major web browsers. It works on both Mac and Windows, including mobile browsers as well. So what I want to show, show you is just to quickly demo it on the phone. I'll show you it um, in Safari here first and I'll show you how it works on the desktop as well. But I think once you see it in action, you'll quickly see the benefits of using one. So let's say we're in Safari and we go to a site that requires a login. So Club Lexus is like a forum website. Any forum usually requires you login before you can leave a comment. Right, so if I click here onto one of the threads and I want to leave a comment, let's say I click on reply here and it's going to automatically ask me to log in. And now I know a lot of sites will have you sign in with Google or Facebook, which that's fine. This is more for sites where you have your unique username logins or just sites, more obscure sites that don't have that Google or Facebook login. So here, instead of remembering what my username and password is, all I have to do is on, on iOS, uh, this is how it works on iOS is I just click on the bottom here. Uh, LastPass will pop up once you have it installed as an option. And when you click that, it's going to automatically detect what site you're on. So it knows I'm on Club Lexus, so it gives me my username and password. And once I tap that, it will just automatically log me in. And then, bam, I'm ready to go. So you can see it saves a lot of time and effort, in my opinion. So that's one example. Now, let's say we go to a site like you know Best Buy. Now, I know you might actually use the Best Buy app, but for those of you that just log in, in through a regular browser like Safari, it works great. So here, let's say we want to sign in, right? And instead of knowing my email and password, all I have to do is on the bottom, just tap down there, and LastPass will pop up again. It will recognize I'm on bestbuy.com, and then I tap that one, and it's going to log me right in. So it just works awesome. No more remembering stuff. I see so many people like struggle when they're on their phones remembering what their username and passwords are for the tons of different websites that people log into so it works really good now that was safari i'll show you here how it works with chrome it's pretty much very very similar so if you go to a site um you know i don't know what's the example let's say we go to like let's say we go to reddit and of course you might use the reddit app but if you don't this is how you log in so let's say we want to tap on login and register now instead of remembering username and password you can just click here in the chrome upper right hand corner then you click on the share icon there and it will pop up the same screen just tap last pass and it will prevent uh, present me with my login tap that and then it will fill the form in for you automatically and then there you go we're, we're just logged in so that works really good so that's how you use it on the phone. Now I want to show you how to use it on the desktop because that's really where I started using it originally. And um, that's where you kind of build the database real quick rather than entering all your information one by one for all your different logins. Um, so here's Google Chrome. I have it LastPass installed. You just get the extension for whatever browser you currently use and it will put the extension up here. And in your vault it will keep all your, you, all your username and password. So all you really have to remember is your one major password for um, your LastPass uh, login. So make sure that's really secure and learn it by heart. And once you have that, you'll be able to, if you ever need to, for whatever reason, look at specific username and passwords, you can log in, click on My Vault, and see whatever specific logins you need to look at for whatever specific website. So once you have that installed here, you're good to go. And let me just show you how it works. So let's say we go to Facebook. Here you'll see it's automatically logging me in into my username and pat with my username and password. Now you can disable log uh, auto login in the in the preferences here, so you can mess around with that if you want. I'm not going to go through all the different things you can adjust in there, but you can see it automatically just has it filled in for me. I can click login and I'm good to go. Um, a lot of times, if you don't have it automatically filled in, it will still LastPass will put this drop down box here, so you can click that just like you do like on the phone. But then you click whatever username you want to use and then you click log and you're good to go. Now the other huge benefit is with form form fields. Form fields, it will automatically uh, 
input that information for you as well. So let's say you create a new account here on Facebook. You just click on personal. That's my personal credit card. And it will, you know, type in all my information automatically for me. Now, the thing about including birthday here. So, I mean, there's a lot of different things you can do uh, as far as being able to save you time. Now, it also creates really secure passwords if you want to just uh, have it auto generate a password for you. So you can see here, this is this crazy password it puts in. You're never going to remember that. But you don't need to if you're using a password manager. Um, you can refresh that and, and you can adjust the password length up to 100 characters. And here you can, you know, you, capitals, if you want symbols, you can have all this um, auto generate for you. And then you just use the password. It will save that automatically for the site. I don't want to save it as a new entry because I'm not trying to save it. But, you know, if you were, it would just store that and it would store it in the vault and then you can go on your phone it's going to be in there if you use it on your laptop as well it's going to be in there so it always keeps everything synced up and that's the thing is you kind of want to use it the more you use it over time the more it's going to build that huge database of all your logins across again all your maybe infrequently visited sites so you don't have to remember what your information is for that it's going to ultimately automatically build in i think my vault i don't know it's probably got a couple hundred logins at this point um you know that's basically how it works uh, let's just show you another example here. Sometimes, you know, when you get to a checkout form and it's going to ask you for your address and everything else. But instead of doing that, you see LastPass puts this drop down box here. I can form fill it with my personal and it's going to put my address, city, drop down box for the state I'm in, just all your information. And then you, you just click continue. So you can click that personal and then continue. You don't have a lot. Once in a while, there'll be a field that doesn't really catch properly and you can just you're going to have to just look at it real quick and make sure it's properly filled in. But for the most part, it works really good, and it's definitely better than having to type in all your information constantly in all these types of forms you come across in online. And now just to show you a couple of the options. So this is the main page here. So here's where you can edit. You know, you can add different form-filled profiles. So I have two couple credit cards I have in here. But what I want to show you is over here down the bottom left is the account settings. Now under the account settings here, you click on advanced settings and here will be where you can adjust how often you want it to log out of um, Chrome automatically for you. So the more secure you want to be, you can have this auto log you out of your LastPass profile every five minutes, which means you'll just have to log into LastPass every time you want to use it. I, I put it to the max, which is two weeks here, so I don't have to constantly be re-logging in, but I try to keep it secure as possible. But I you know, value convenience pretty highly. So I just keep in myself logged in as, as long as possible. But I just really wanted to show you how easy it is to use once you are using it, you know, so just get it installed. I didn't really show you here, but when you log into a site for the first time, let's say you go to at t or something that's like one of your providers. When you go into login here and you have LastPass installed for the first time, once you put your actual login information here, there'll be a bar that pops up across the top, a green bar, and you can say, do you want to save this site? And you click confirm, I believe it is, or save new site. And once it saves it, it's going to put it in your LastPass vault. So the next time you go to this website, it will be available in this drop down. You can log in and then you'll be good to go. So give it a try. Let me know what you guys think in the bottom or if you use a different LastPass or a different password manager, let me know what that is as well. But I think this is the best one that I've found. And like I said, I've been using it for eight years, but hopefully this uh, helps you out and uh, puts a little convenience in your life. But thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care.